Hello and welcome to Mrs. Koi Style. My name is Kawana. I thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where I speak about style. I do some hauls, some reviews, and every now and again, I sprinkle in a little bit of luxury. And what's more luxurious than pearls? No, I'm just kidding. Um, but if that is something that interests you, I certainly hope that you will continue watching today's video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell notification so that you never ever miss one of my videos. So for today's video, I am taking you all with me to The Real Real. If you do not know what The Real Real is, The Real Real is a luxury consignment store pretty much a chain because there are many of them on the West Coast and now there are quite a few of them here on the East Coast, specifically in New York. And most recently they opened one in Long Island and so I had to go and check it out. So just a couple of things before we jump into it. I wasn't even sure that I was going. I showed up there and I did a poll on Instagram and asked my Instagram family if they wanted to see what was inside of the real real and a larger percentage said yes and so i went in recording if you're not following me on instagram i have to give that plug because i mentioned instagram if you're not following me over there you need to be i will go on ahead and put my handle right over here somewhere next to mrs coy number two no but anyway um most of the people on the poll said yes um once I went in and recorded, I did record vertically instead of horizontally. What that means to you all who do not record with your phones, that means that it's not formatted for YouTube, it's actually formatted for my phone. So you will see that the picture is just more narrow, but hopefully you'll still be able to see all of the eye candy and the try on. And what I will know for next time is to go on ahead and flip my phone sideways so that it's all laid out in the YouTube format, but I think, as I said, you're going to enjoy anyway, so let's get into it. We have arrived at the Real Real Long Island. Let's go on ahead inside. So many beautiful bags and shoes and accessories. Oh, and we cannot forget the ready to wear. Check out this kind of 70s inspired Gucci number. More on this to come. And then I took a look at some more shoes, these Fendi shoes, Bottega shoes, none of which were in my size. Then we had this glass case over here with more accessories, wallets and such. Ooh, the Hermes GJ clutch. So then I walked over to the men's section where I was able to get a view of some of the women's ready to wear, but then turned back around to look at more of the men's items, including this Dior shirt. More on this to come as well. Okay, LV Trunk, talk about traveling in style. We're back at the women's section where I am getting ready to try on some Chanel. Tried on this Chanel tweed blazer. Eh, beautiful colors, but mm, but look at the vibrancy of this fuchsia pink with the black piping. Not my size, but I see what Chanel is trying to do. And I love the button detail. Beautiful. Okay, are we having fun yet? Let's head into the fitting room to try on all of these items. Let's first start with my OOTD. I am wearing this cohort set in this beautiful charcoal gray. Not very springy in color, but certainly comfortable and soft. I feel perfect for shopping. And I paired it with these white Zara sneakers, you know, to shop in comfort and have something that I can take off and put on without wrinkling. It's the perfect shopping outfit. And to accompany it, I threw on my trench coat. Details on this trench will be linked below. You need a trench in the spring. First up, I tried on this Chanel cardigan in the size small. I thought the color was very pretty and I like the detail, the contrast between this kind of, I don't know, sherbet sorbet sort of 
pinkish color with the white piping. I think it gave me retro but yet fun. Well, retro can be fun, right? But like kind of retro style, I thought that it would be really cute paired with denim like I'm wearing. I'll get into that in a little bit, but like a skirt or something. But ultimately, as you will see, it did nothing for me. It just didn't fit. The uh, the sleeves were too short. My arms aren't excessively long, I don't think. But yeah, this just didn't work at all. As you'll see, uh, the buttons didn't close. Um, I think it was very cute though, as I said. It had this cute pocket detail with the nice Chanel detailed buttons in white. Just like the piping. Uh, the pockets were not functional at all. All in all, it was a cute cardigan. Just... Um, not for me, too small. Next up, this Chanel denim in a size medium that have this beautiful, beautiful kind of vertical stitching down the leg, elongates you, makes your legs look super slim, does all of the things. And again, with the retro vibes for Chanel, super tight on me in a size medium. I was very hopeful that they would fit, but... No, not so much. Ultimately too tight, but I did like the CC stitching that was on the back pockets as well as the stitching detail that goes down the legs. I thought that it was very flattering and elongating. I like this straight leg fit of the denim, but again, just too small for me. Yeah, um, and just like the top, again, back to the cardigan, it just wouldn't even button. I felt like I was bust, bursting out of all of these Chanel pieces. Super pretty and great, great quality, but yeah, just didn't fit me. The next Chanel sweater that I tried on in a size medium really spoke to me. I like the CCs that are going across this lightweight sort of knitted sweater, you know, because I'm a logo beep. Oh, <laughs> fill in the blank if you can. <laughs> but anyway, even the button detail, these gold buttons are just so, I mean, just so chic and cool. I would imagine wearing this kind of sweater with some nice linen pants on a boat, a yacht or something. It was just giving me that type of vibe, even though it's a sweater. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like that kind of, you know, yacht life look. Oh, I can totally see it. But anyway... It didn't fit. This is just so ill-fitting on me. The neck detail just did nothing for me. In some ways, the sweater was, I don't know, too small, but then yet too big, and the, the sleeves were too short. It just didn't give what it was supposed to have given. I was excited to try on this Kate top that I've seen a number of influencers wearing. You will really see now how tight these Chanel pants were on me. I know that I digress, but you can totally see the spare tire when I am wearing this top. The only thing I could say, well, I can say two things about this top. Really great quality, very soft and nice, and that it would be perfect for nursing. If you need to breastfeed, this is the perfect top for you. Did nothing for me, not supportive at all. Another point about the top, I thought that it was pretty expensive. You can definitely find it on sale at some place like Farfetch. But let's get into the Dior men's top that I showed you earlier. Now I am trying it on. Oh man, I cannot even describe the quality of this top. It just felt so crisp and good. I, oh, Oh my gosh, I wish that you could have felt it. Yes, I'm still wearing the jeans. I complained about how tight they were, but still haven't taken them off. Let's get into the top. I wanted the top to be a bit more oversized in my head. I kind of envisioned wearing it as a dress, but yeah, it didn't give me that. So for this price, it's a no. Still admiring these tight jeans. I just cannot get over the CC stitching on the pockets, but yeah, I'm about to take these off. So I finally took off those tight jeans. I mean, give me a thumbs up for that. No, I hope that you're enjoying the video so far. So let's get into this top. I mean, mini dress. 
You ready for that Gucci, huh? Okay. Can't nobody tell me nothing except that this is just too small. I get it. Back in the 60s, this would have been a vibe when people were wearing like this kind of mini style, but it's not for now. I'm not shy. I'm all about showing the legs and doing everything, but it still has to be appropriate. And this Gucci dress just too tight on me, but I love the monogram because I'm a logo beep. Fill it in. Um, love it. And I, I, this, this caramel leather that was around the trim of the dress, it felt so luxurious, so supple, but ultimately too short. Give me a thumbs up if you like the pieces that I've tried on so far. And let's head back out into the showroom to check out some more bags, 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 and bags. There were so many bags and designers that caught my eye, but first up, I needed to try out this Hermes Picotine. Number one, it was in my favorite color green, and number two, I've always wanted to see the Picotine in this size 18. Um, I've told that it's the perfect size to fit everything, and I would agree, it's a very nice looking bag. This one was $5,500. So I put the Picotine down and continued perusing the showroom, just taking in all of the eye candy. What bags are you seeing that you like? What's next on your wish list? Is anything catching your eye? Let me know. If you're enjoying what you're seeing and enjoy what I've shown so far, please give the video a thumbs up. Take a look at this Fendi skirt. This was in a size large and the shorts were in a size small. I did not try them on. At this point, I was all tired out, but thought that you would enjoy seeing them. Just looked at more beautiful bags that Hermes Kelly 36 and Constance in the mini size, as well as this Chanel 19. What a beautiful ombre color. Those blues and greens are just so gorgeous. And look at this Chanel flap with the pearl detail. Stunning. Finally found a shoe that almost fit me. This Balenciaga knife mule that I have always admired. I think that a pointed toe pump will be a classic and around forever. I could see myself wearing these until I was 90 years old. If they fit. So thank you all so much for coming with me to The Real Real. What was your favorite part? What did you see that jumped out at you? What did you love? What's now on your radar that may not have been before? Like, let me know. I hope that you've commented and told me all of your thoughts, everything that you're coveting, what it is that you want. And you can go on ahead and tell me. Go on ahead and tell me. Should I not have purchased those Chanel jeans? I get that you all may be thinking that maybe they're not on trend for now, but I really believe that that silhouette of denim is absolutely timeless. And if they were in a size up, I would have had to go on ahead and cop them because they were just to me that cool. I like the kind of kick flare down at the ankle. Any, oh, oh, to add a point to it, when I was going back to link these items, there will be some items linked down below if they are still available. I did notice that the denim was not the price, the $1,200 that was actually on the tag. They were actually 600 and something dollars, which makes it worth it to me. You would have a Chanel jean forever. So if I could find those in a size large, maybe even a extra large, if I'm keeping it really, really real. And that's what we do over here. When we're talking about the real, real, we're going to keep it real. But no, anyway, uh, perhaps in a larger size, they would have worked out. You know, as I said, all of the Chanel tops, just too small for me. But if you enjoyed this video, and if you like this kind of content, I certainly hope that you have already given this video a thumbs up and that you have subscribed. I need for you to subscribe. We need for you to subscribe. I would love for you to subscribe. So let's make that happen do not forget that everything i shared in this video and every one of my videos is me to a c thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one